Hello, welcome to Iqbal Studio. I'm Azadin. Today I'm gonna show you how to create this lamp or Latin in uh, Blender. Uh, this tutorial should be basic um, and easy to follow. Uh, even if you're beginner, I believe you'll still be able to uh, follow this tutorial. Uh, but I'm assuming you should know uh, how to use the interface and the uh, uh, basic tool in Blender. But I believe even if you're using different software, you'll still be able to benefit from this tutorial because all 3d software are kind of uh, similar it just uh, each software have uh, its own way of uh, workflow software is just a tool uh, i'm myself i used 3d studio max for uh, more than 15 years and i'm giving try to blender it's not about uh, uh, switching but for me it's just learning more tools and give you more option and it's better uh, so let's see what we have in the scene we just have uh, our model, a uh, lamp model, and one plane. And if I open, you will see we have some uh, light as well. So one uh, area light and one sunlight. And if I go to X-ray mode, you will be able to see there's another point light uh, inside the lamp. So let me go back to the uh, shade mode. I'm gonna turn on the uh, screencast so you'll be able to see the shortcut. Uh, I'm using because Blender, uh, for my experience, like you know, even in short period, shortcut is very, very important in um, a Blender workflow because it's really speed up your workflow. Uh, but one problem I find out when turning on the this screencast, both of them, I tried both these, uh, both they give me the same problem. So if I go to render mode, you see the shadow is flickering. So it take me long time to find out why this sh shadow is flicking uh, i thought the problem was with the software or the problem was with my um, computer driver so if you have this problem and you're using this uh, screencast probably this is the cause in the, the problem so let me try to turn off you see i believe i should be switching between these option to be able so now it's gone but whenever i turn it on so if you see my screen is flickering does because of the screen cast I'm using uh, this add-on so let me go back to the shading mode and I'm gonna be moving everything to the new collection so we're gonna be starting from scratch I was gonna delete everything from here but just I need to keep this one as a reference even if you try different kind of shape is gonna be still more useful because you don't have to copy exactly what I'm doing here but you just learn like you know things and use your creativity to do the things so everything is gonna be in the old collection so if I uh, hide from the screen you don't see anything in the screen so even if I render now there's nothing uh, in the scene right now so now I just need to turn on the model itself just for reference okay whenever you're running your software blender software is gonna be like this you have your uh, default cube in the middle okay so I'm gonna delete in this and another thing I'm using the unit which is in centimeter uh, probably when you open your software is gonna be on a meter or maybe different use so I'm gonna be using centimeter so just change this one to centimeter okay let me close this collection okay so i'm gonna be using shortcut i'll try myself to slow down and uh, try explain as much as i can but shortcut as i said at the beginning is very very important uh, to know with blender so a uh, screen cost uh, key shortcut so you'll be able to display yeah now it's working okay so now shift a and I'm gonna be adding cylinder. I try to change the setting to six vertices and depth. I, I used 10 centimeters, so yours could be a little bit different. But this is the thing because before you're doing anything to even moving and going to edit mode, um, whenever you've done anything to the object, this screen, uh, I believe there's no way to get this screen back again. So there's still gonna be the way around but it's gonna be harder for yourself so now let me select this one and zoom in like this I'm gonna be moving this object up so G for moving and Z 
which is gonna move the object the axis here so if I press Y it's gonna be moving only on the Y axis if I press X it's gonna be moving on the X so I'm gonna press Z to move up and down so I'm gonna move this one a little bit up so looking at our reference so we need just to extrude this bit it's gonna be very simple so I'm gonna be switching between object mode and edit mode quite a lot so the shortcut for that is top so if you press top you are in edit mode if you top again you go into object mode so in edit mode there's another thing which is going to be using a lot when you in vertices you will be able to select um, vertex when you're in edge mode you'll be able to select edge when you're in face mode you'll be able to select faces okay so same thing if you select one vertices press G for movement you're gonna be able to move this one if you want to look this movement to one axis for example Y so you'll be able to move so I hope you know this like I mean how to use this tool in uh, blender but I'm just trying to explain a little bit if you're really beginner and never done anything so to help you out okay so I'm going to in face mode and I'm gonna select the bottom face and then press E for extrude and Z to move it down like so so I'm gonna press G for movement and move a little bit more like this okay I'm gonna extrude again E and Z extrude like this S for scaling so I'm gonna scale in like this okay and again I'm gonna be pressing E and Z to extrude the space like this okay now I'm gonna be adding another edge top here so press ctrl R and on your mouse if you scroll up and down you'll be able to use I mean to add more edge but I'm gonna be using two so and then on your mouse click on uh, left click and then press S for scaling and Z to look to a Z axis so just moving up and down so like this should be okay and then I'm going to face mode and then press alt click on this face so to select all the way around uh, the face loop okay I'm gonna press so you're going to this tool so you're gonna be like this change it to uh, along normals and select this extrude mode and then I'm gonna be extruding this a little bit like this. so as I said you can use different shape for your uh, lamp if you want you don't have to copy exactly what I'm doing but I'm just giving you the workflow of uh, how to model so I believe this is a little bit bigger than this one but that's no problem so you always can scale up or down whenever you need but make sure whenever you scale up and down to apply scale value again because if I'm going here this volume maybe is different so if this volume one of them is different than the other when you try to apply modifier you will get the problem so it's very important in blender to apply uh, scale value which is control a and scale value so this will be one so I'm gonna scale in this little bit down like so and I'm gonna apply scale value again so to make make sure it's one okay and I'm going to edit mode we're gonna be trying to do this part of the model so I'm gonna press in shift D to copy this and move it up like this and then right click to separate or press P for making separate object get out of edit mode to object mode and then select this object the top part and then go into edit mode again select this face and extrude like this okay get out of uh, edit mode so I'm gonna scale this one down a little bit like this and then we need to make this one a little bit higher so I'm gonna go to edit mode with uh, x-ray on and in vertex mode so select all this and then G Z to move it up like so okay and 
again. So we're gonna be adding some edge loop to this part. Again, Control R to add edge loop, and then scroll up or down to, to add more or less. So, so I'm gonna, gonna be adding two edge loop, and then S for scaling, and Z for look uh, scale to uh, Z axis. Okay, another edge loop. I think I'm gonna move this one a little bit up because it's still to me is quite short. So I'm gonna select this part and G C move this a little bit up like this. That's better. And then again control R and add another edge. Right here. Okay. Can I go to uh, face mode? So one when you press one on your keyboard it's gonna be in uh, face mode and when you press 2 it's gonna be in edge mode and 3 for face mode so I'm gonna be selecting this and I'm gonna delete in this face we don't need this one and same thing for this one at the bottom so X for deleting face okay so now we just have this which is there's no face at the bottom to make sure okay Ctrl Z to move it back to the same place edit mode so I'm gonna be adding some more edge loop so Ctrl R and press left click right click to keep it in the position so repeat this again same thing around like so Ctrl R Okay, so now press 1 to go to vertex mode and then select the vertices you want to move them. So press shift to select multiple vertices, like so. Okay, press G and Z to move this one up, like this. Okay. So now I'm going to face mode, turn on X-ray and select all faces inside. Okay, and now for uh, insert faces, I'm gonna press I twice. So it's gonna be locked to normal like this. Okay, and I'm gonna select in all these faces and delete them so go through this one we still need these faces again but because you're gonna be adding solidify uh, modifier so maybe there's easier way to to do this Sorry, I'm gonna keep in one face because we need one face. So I'm gonna just click on this one, but still my shift key is down, and then click on the face. It's gonna be uh, removing the from the selection. So I'm gonna press X and delete faces like this. Okay. So now this face we need to detach from the object. So it's gonna be P selection. Okay get out of edit mode now this one is separate okay and still this is very important to keep this origin because when we make another copy from this one it's gonna be turning around or scaling from this point so keep this one in the same position don't move around so I'm gonna add in a modifier to this one which is solidify modifier to give it some thickness we try five thing five is good okay so we need to move this class a little bit to the kind of middle way so we have because the glass doesn't I mean stick you know to the inside like this but if we try to move the glass like this remember this origin is gonna move again with 
so we will have a problem so it's very important to go to edit mode and select all faces make sure everything is being selected okay and press G to move and X to look to the X axis okay maybe yours is gonna be different uh, axis maybe Y or X so just make sure to move it like this so you have uh, some thickness inside so the glass kind of in the middle way okay and still our origin is in the middle so we haven't moved because we need to make uh, more copy all the way around here okay so get out of edit mode to object mode now we're gonna be making more copy all the way around so it's gonna be alt D for copy in this one and then R for rotation and Z because you're gonna be moving like on the Z axis okay and then 60 minus okay so it's gonna be ex it should be exactly in the same place okay again the difference between when you press uh, shift D uh, when you modify the object is gonna be different from each other but when you press alt D both object will be kind of same so if you do anything to this object what will happen to the nigga so they share in same um, editing mode with each other so if I move this one like press G you see because it's really good in future if you try to edit like you know one faces we don't have to do everything again all the way around so that's why I'm trying to press alt D and then R Z and then six zero minus okay so I repeat this way all the way around again alt D R Z six zero minus Alt D R Z six zero minus J D R Z six zero minus. Okay, so now we have everything in the perfect place. Now we're gonna be doing the top part. As I said, this may be kind of a little bit bigger than this one, but as, as I said, you'll still be able to scale it down and up whenever you need this so I'm gonna be selecting everything just to make sure the scale to apply scale so now because these are sharing same link as I said now look at the scale they are different but because both of all of them sharing same way of editing I don't know what the exact word for this one but as I explained to you before if you edit one of them it's gonna be applied to all the way around like you know because they share the same way of editing so if you want to disable that one, you just click on this one. This is going to be separate object. And when you edit this one, it's not affecting the other object. Um, so let me try again to apply scale. You can't apply scale mode. So the way to do this, I'm going to be attaching all these to one object. So I'm going to be selecting this all the way around. And I believe if I press Ctrl J, yeah, should be one object. Okay, so now all are together like this. Okay, so now we should be able to apply scale. Yeah, so now it's one. Just in case if we add any modifier in future, uh, we will have no problem. Probably we don't need to add any modifier to the glasses, but just in case, I always make sure because I don't want to in the future to get uh, to the problem okay so now we're gonna be adding the top part so I'm gonna be selecting the bottom part go to edit mode in, on the face mode so select this top part top face and then press shift D and then Z to copy this edge like this and then press P to make a separate object like so get out of edit mode and then select this top part so we're gonna be extruding this up so try to make sure to keep this one as a reference doesn't matter but maybe it's gonna be a little bit different but still I'm gonna be trying to get as close as to this one 
So E for extruding Z moving up like this. Okay. So now extrude again, move it up, and then scale down. Extrude again. And then extrude again like so and scale out like so extrude again and then extrude again and scale again so just repeating same thing to get that shape done scale out like so extrude again scale I'm just repeating the same thing, I don't want to explain because it's only, I mean, it's exactly the same thing, just repeating this step until to get the shape I want, like this. So let me make it closer, and then probably this is gonna be last one. Scale in like this, okay. It's close enough, okay. And I'm gonna be applying modifier to this one, bevel modifier, to make this edge a little bit nicer and sharper. So I'm gonna be changing this setting to point to this joy. Yeah. Because when you light in your scene, this edge is get uh, kind of like a uh, nice shade with the lighting, okay. Same thing for this one. And change this setting to point two again. Yeah, if you have problem with yours, you can play with this setting to make it sharper if you want like this. So two is doing better. If you change the segment to two, giving better result here. Okay. Same thing. I'm gonna try for this part. We already done the solidifier, so I'm gonna close this one. And then add bevel modifier and change this setting to point 0.2. So I'm just checking this edge. How does it look like to get close? I look like this. So let me change to a two segment. Yeah, I believe I'm happy with it. So now our model is nearly finished. So we just need to do this flat part you know, on the top. So I'm gonna do the same thing. So again, okay, selecting the bottom part, going to edit mode and select this top face, shift D, and then move this one way up like this. I need to make this object separate. Don't forget that I press P to make a separate object. Okay, get out of edit mode and then select this one. Scaling it down because it's too big now. Remember, our origin is all the way down there. That's why it's scaling to this point so before scaling it let me set origin to geometry so now it's gonna be scaled down to this point so as for scaling like so okay we're gonna scale it down again just when we finished so I'm gonna apply scale for now and we're gonna be extruding this out so go to edit mode select this face extrude out like this and then select both faces and then press I on your keyboard to insert face like this okay and then press X and delete faces we don't need these two so again pressing 2 on your keyboard going to edge select mode make sure you're just selecting these to edge press F for connecting or bridging between these two faces so now if you select this one this is I really like in blender so if you just press F it will do the job for you like this it's really nice okay as I said I'm still learning blender I'm not really good in blender probably maybe there's a better way to do things around but I'm trying my best like from my three weeks experience like uh, working with blender I always want to learn uh, new tools, uh, it's really help and you have a more option 
and no matter whatever software you're using uh, the result is just you know depend on the artist like sometimes it's not optional for you for example if you employee you may have to uh, work with the software which they give it to you so you should know that software but if you're freelancing for example you have more freedom to to use whatever software you like so i'm gonna be scale this one down a little bit more like this i think it's good size press r for rotation and x nine zero i'm gonna be sorry y yeah i'm gonna zoom in this and move it down a little bit like so okay so now our model is ready done if you go to shade mode we're gonna do this uh, similar thing see okay so if I hide the old one you don't see anything in the scene except our model okay so let's go to when you shade when you're using your material you should go to this mode shading and let's apply a material to this one so go to this material and make new material for this so I'm gonna use in uh, material very basic uh, you can play around and apply better material maybe more metallic or paint in different software but I'm just using just basic material similar to what what I've done in on the example so I'm gonna make it metallic and roughness so you play with these until you're happy with the material you want so sometimes move it around to see how it look like I'm trying to play with roughness I think I'm happy with this like this yeah so I'm gonna apply the same material to the top part on the body but we're gonna make another material for the gloss so just select this one and apply like so top okay now we need to create a material for our class so new material I'm gonna be changing this one to emission because this glow effect is coming from bloom I'm gonna explain it um, soon later so let's give a color of like orange and of color like this and as I said play around with the color you want to apply I'm gonna change the strength to about 3 play with the setting when you're happy with yours so if you want more glow just add more like in here and we do want to get a shadow from our glass so when we put a light inside uh, our lamp these gonna be costing uh, shadow on the floor so by disabling the one go to on the material mode so select shadow mode and make it known okay like this so i'm gonna add in light inside our lamp okay shift and a add point light okay so our point light is just down there so i'm gonna be pressing g Z to move it up like this if you want to make these um, classes uh, see through so just bulk face selling like this so you'll be able and you can use it both way for example if you're happy just you know your lamp to be like this glowing just keep this one off like this if you're happy with it like this way but if you want to see through uh, and see one inside but you should put a bulb or anything like you know like a sphere in here and apply same material so um, you know there's something inside so let's play with this one and we have to be in the render mode to be able to see what we're doing here and I'm gonna be just enabling our plane which is very simple very easy to uh, create just one plane like this so now we only have our point light 
I'm gonna be changing the value of light so if I select our light go to this which is you're playing with the light setting I'm gonna change this uh, power to 500 let's say like you see you remember I explained at the beginning you know this flickering if you see on the screen is because of the uh, this screen cost so I already explained but yours it should be fine there is no flicker radius so play with these settings when you're happy with it so if you want sharp shadow uh, you play with this setting okay and the render setting I'm using which is important so I'm using ambient occlusion bloom which is very important for the glowing so if you don't have this one there's no glow so this is very important I'm sorry if I didn't explain at the beginning or to turn off this at the beginning but this is the setting which is very important so to turn it on and you can play with this setting like threshold intensity so if you want more glowing or like this so play with this setting until you're happy with the result and another setting I just turn on the screen space reflection but I think in this um, example it's not big different and the other thing I change the resolution uh, of the shadow a little bit high so probably yours is gonna be 512 I changed it to 1024 and uh, select these two if you have a powerful but be careful with this so soft shadow is very important if you want soft shadow but if you don't soft shadow just keep it like this I mean turn off but still if you have soft shadow selected you're still when you going to a uh, light mode you can play with this setting radius to make your shadow sharper or softer like this okay so it's kind of very very close uh, to what we have here uh, I'm gonna be turning on this light again so let me close this one so the another light we have which is just to light the top part this one the setting is 100 watt so let me add another one here so I'm gonna turn off this one from so, so shift a light area light so it's gonna be just down there so G Z to move it up like this and play with the size and the power sorry so this is just for lighting the top part of the light and we don't want shadow from this so if you're happy with the result like you know the shadow is a little bit stronger here you can keep it but uh, for me a lot of better result but because of flickering it's really hard for me to to judge you know which way is better so I'm gonna keep it like I'm gonna keep it on okay and another light which was the sunlight so it's not it's just giving a little bit of uh, like ambient light to the scene which is I give you the setting and it's very very simple to add this light so you just shift A and then sunlight and then the setting I have like this bluish color so you can change the color too because I need kind of uh, night mood for this and the power I'm using which is uh, 1.7 so let me hide the old one we just need the plane so I'm gonna be copying this so shift D and I'm gonna move it to the new collection so to be able to disable this one and just see what we have G and Y move it like this so this is what we have okay and for this light you can play with the setting uh, you can change the power you can change the size if you want like but I believe around here because we need like metallic material from our lamp so if you uh, make size bigger it's gonna be kind of soft around here I think it's 
it's not good and I'm sorry today my voice I don't know what's problem with my voice uh, but I hope you get benefit from this tutorial and uh, you learn something from this so for supporting me please give like if you learn something from uh, this tutorial I'm gonna be trying to do more um, tutorial with uh, Belinda I'm still playing around I just done one project with uh, Belinda uh, probably I'm gonna make like a series of uh, tutorial maybe in future um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, if you want to see more video uh, thank you for watching